My name is Mobley Das, and I'm an infectious disease doctor and public health person. At Gilead Sciences, I'm a vice president for HIV prevention and virology pediatrics. And part of my job is to oversee the Lena Capavir for HIV prevention program. And that's also known as the Purpose Program. And um, last year, we shared results that twice yearly subcutaneous lenacapavir is highly efficacious for uh, preventing HIV in, a, in the most broad and diverse group of populations ever studied in HIV prevention trials. So globally, by age, by race, by ethnicity, by sex and gender, um, very diverse populations were studied in Purpose 1 and 2, and while twice yearly subcutaneous lenacapavir remains investigational, we've submitted our applications to the U.S. FDA and the European Medicines Agency recently, and those applications for twice yearly subcutaneous lenacapavir are undergoing evaluation by regulatory agencies. Today, we're presenting the results of a pharmacokinetic study of a different formulation of lenacapavir, and the actually two formulations. And these are formulations that, instead of being subcutaneous or under your skin, these are intramuscular or in your muscle. The bottom line is formulations compare quite well. So the study we're presenting today is an open label phase one study that's evaluating two different formulations of lenacapavir. So participants got a single dose that contained 5,000 milligrams of intramuscularly. Formulation one had 5% ethanol in the formulation and formulation two had 10% ethanol, but they were both 5,000 milligrams and they got this one-time injection and the results we're sharing today is the pharmacokinetics data, or the data of the concentrations of lenacapavir in people's plasma. So what we found is that the, both of these formulations lasted longer than 52 weeks. They lasted 56 weeks. And um, the study is ongoing and we continue to monitor pharmacokinetics and LEN concentrations. And that's very exciting because the LEN plasma concentrations remained above what we consider is a 95% effective concentration. And the troughs that were observed in with both those formulations, a trough is the lowest concentration, those were higher than were observed with the twice yearly subcutaneous formulation that we know is highly efficacious and safe for, let, uh, for HIV prevention as demonstrated in the prior studies I mentioned. So this is really good information because it tells us we have now a two shots on goal for having a once a year injectable that could potentially prevent HIV. Both formulations of intramuscular lenacapavir were safe and well tolerated, and most adverse events were mild to moderate in severity. There were no grade four adverse events or lab abnormalities. The most common um, reported side effect was injection site pain, which is not surprising. Anytime anybody gets an injection in their body, they might have some pain. Um, but 80% of People with Formulation 1 and 75% with Formulation 2 reported some pain at the injection site. It was mostly mild to moderate, so grade 1 or grade 2, and they resolved after a few days and was reduced by pretreatment with ICE. In our Lenacapavir program, the Purpose Program and the Purpose Trials 1 through 5 um, that evaluate the twice yearly subcutaneous formulation, we found that pretreatment with ICE has been helpful in that program, so we tried that in this program as well. We are, as I told you, awaiting regulatory findings and approval for the twice yearly formulation with the um, evaluation of a once yearly formulation, like one of these two formulations, we plan to initiate a trial later this year. Right now we're continuing to follow people and follow their plasma concentrations of LEN and their safety, and then we'll figure out which formulation to use. 
Um, but the results are demonstrate, as, as will be shown and in detail in the paper, that it's possible that we could use a, um, a dose of the drug that's lower than the dose that we studied, so around 5,000 milligrams or perhaps a little bit less. We're incredibly excited about the potential and the future of this investigational products. It's, so lenacapavir is a really unique model a molecule as a capsid inhibitor, and um, it's very potent and it works at multiple different steps in the HIV replication cycle and it has tremendous flexibility because of its potency. It can be formulated as a daily tablet, as a weekly tablet, um, and also as this twice yearly subcutaneous injectable that we studied in the big purpose program. And now we have data that in an intramuscular formulation we have results lasting up to one year. So it's an incredibly exciting time for the molecule and for what it means for people who want or need PrEP. A lot of people have challenges taking daily pills or lower thing that's more frequent can be challenging for people. So we're hopeful that if the twice yearly formulation is approved, that it helps improve adherence and persistence on PrEP and ultimately helps people live a healthier life by not getting HIV infection.